So happy to have you again today. Thank you. I actually drove into the filling station to get some fuel for the car and I told the lady how much I wanted. She didn't know that I had seen the fuel pump and she didn't erase the last price she had just sold for an Okada guy. And then she just continued from where she stopped to the amount I wanted. And by the time she was done, she asked me for my money and I was holding it in the hand and when I stretched it to her to collect it, I wouldn't release the money. And I looked at her and said, can you please put my fuel for me? And she looked at me and said, hey, madam, I don't put your fuel and all that. I was like, madam, you didn't know I saw that you didn't erase it. If you did, why didn't you tell me to see my meter, you know, before she started serving me what I wanted? And then she argued and argued. At the long run, I just told her, okay, if you don't want to believe me, could you call a manager or somebody so that let them come and handle this case for us? So she was saying, eh, eh, no problem, madam. I go put her, I go put her, no verse. And she foiled it, you know. I went on and on. I was rattling. I was telling her, eh, it's not, you know, sometimes we just keep pointing at leadership, you know. I said, it starts from the root. It starts from the root. So you two try to, like, be what you want to see, you know, there at the head. That was all. By the time I was done with her, of course, I was happy. I was driving off. You know that still, quiet voice that talks to you? That voice that we call and something said. Okay, that something came to say to me. And this was how the conversation went. You feel good, don't you? And I said, mm -hmm. what she did was it good. What she did was not good now, you know? And I was trying to, you know, talk and talk and talk. The next thing I heard, that's exactly how other people feel. When you do, and the voice went on and on and on and on. When you tell people you agree with them, we are meeting for five, and you don't meet up. That was my first, and God helping me, I'm still working on it. He said, you can't meet up. Call them and tell them, please, I wouldn't be able to meet up with the time. Today, we are talking about be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. If all of us can make up our minds to be that dream, that change in the office we want to see, in, the, in, in, in our country, you know, in the market, in the bank, you know. And then I, 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 I was actually calm and I just told myself, I said, honestly, if each and every one of us can take this and work on ourselves personally, and then we will be headed to the positive direction. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says you are the light of the world you are a city that is set on a hill that is why others may but we cannot you know others may do stuff but we cannot do it we are the light we are the light in other words we are to be that living example that people could copy most times i'd say i'm not um if um I want to paint it right. If at a particular point in time I have to have dealings with you, beyond that big Bible that I keep on my office desk, can people truly say, oh, truly there's something different about this lady? Beyond the Christian cliches we use, it is well. Bless you. I thank God. If we delete all these from our vocabulary and people have to deal with us, we they truly say there is something different about this person. When the bank overpays you, the cashier overpays you, and you check out and you count it and see that you were overpaid, do you go rejoicing or do you return it back and say, sorry, you overpaid me? Be the change you want to see. When you step on that security man, you know, in your office and he, he, he lets you know, even by his body language, even if he, maybe he's not even uh, bold enough to tell you, sorry, sir, you matched me. But you know you matched him. I am sorry to be to say, be the change you want to see. Is it in the market where the woman goes to get change for you in her innocence and you quickly add up whatever she has bought without her permission? You add it into your leather bag. Be the change you want to see one of the times power holding took the light and i looked out everywhere was dark but there was one yellow bulb in the middle and 
when I looked at that book, I was like, wow, it made the whole difference. In your corner, can you be that light among the darkness? Be that positive influence. Practice what you preach and let people see that truly she is different from others. He is different from others. If you don't have this light we're talking about, it's Jesus. He told us, I am the light of the world. So you could ask him into your heart to come in and be your friend and be your master. It makes the whole lot of difference. So as I keep working on myself, let us all practice what we preach and be the change we want to see. Thank you and God bless you.